How good does that look? Nearly as good as it tastes. Mmm, just melts in your mouth. Go on, try it. Try it. Alright, I'll have this one too. I'm Shuey, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to cook this whole snapper. Fish is easy to cook once you know how. So just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. I absolutely love the taste and texture of red snapper, and cooking a whole one is an absolute treat for me. A shout out has to go to Shannon for catching, cleaning, and giving me this five kilogram monster to cook. If you aren't lucky enough to catch your own fish or get it given to you, and you have to go out and buy it, there are a few things you want to look for. The eyes should be clear and not cloudy like mine. The flesh should be firm and shiny and bounce back when touched. And here inside the gill should be pinky red and wet, not slimy. And it should smell fresh, sort of like the water it came from. It will have a fishy smell, but it shouldn't be overbearing. <laughs> this one's good. The fish should already be scaled, but just give it a once over. Give it a rinse and pat it down with some paper towel in the inside as well. And next up, we just with using a sharp knife, you wanna make some slits diagonally across the fish. This is just going to allow our rub that we're going to put on it and our seasoning to penetrate the fish a lot easier. And make sure you do both sides. Now, if you don't like fish, you can go watch one of my burger videos. Now, I don't want the fish sticking to anything while we're cooking it, so I'm going to give it a fresh bed of veggies to sit on. So we'll start with some red capsicum and some green, some brown onion, and some spring onion, some cherry tomatoes, some oil, some salt, all of it, and a bit of pepper. And just mix this up thoroughly and add all this to a large foil covered pan. Veggies are good for you, stop your moaning. It's now time to season the fish. Into a bowl, we're gonna add some kosher salt, some white pepper, some garlic powder, some dried oregano, and some sweet paprika. Give that a good mix. And we're gonna give the outside of the fish a nice coating of oil. This is going to help that uh, seasoning stick and also get some oil on the inside. And don't be shy with the seasoning, get it on there. This is a big piece of fish, it can handle it. Flip it over, more oil and more seasoning. Next up, we just want to stuff the inside with some fresh thyme and some slices of lemon and a good amount of butter. Butter is absolutely going to be fantastic inside this fish with those that lemon and the thyme. That's it, leave it to rest on the bed of veggies until it's time to cook. As the juices from that fish come out, they're going to flavor those vegetables and it's going to be incredible. Hey you, yeah you, thanks for liking this video. Today I'm gonna to be using my Z Grill 700 pellet smoker and I wanna be roasting at temperatures of 230 degrees Celsius today. And it's easy enough to do. We're just going to lift the lid and turn the dial to the smoke setting. You'll soon get a lot of smoke. It's on fire, run! Actually, it's meant to do that. The smoke will settle down and you'll hear the roar of the fire. So we can close the lid and we can turn the heat dial to our desired temp. And no time for napping, it won't take long to reach it. And for those interested, I'm using two bags of pellets today. I'm using one that's a mix of pecan and cherry wood, and another one that's a mix of Australian hardwoods. The smoke is at temp now, so I can slide the fish in, and it is seriously that easy. We'll set a timer for 20 minutes and flip it over. Now that that's done, it'll be a good time to go and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button while you're there. That bell button's gonna allow you to be notified every time I upload new videos. Today, we're cooking with a high indirect heat of 230 degrees Celsius. All up, our cook's gonna take around about 40 minutes to reach that internal temp of 63 degrees Celsius. Or, for those of you using my beer timer, you're looking at a two beer cook. There you go, a two beer cook for all you one beer cook haters out there. That's 20 minutes, it's time to get the fish out and flip it. Oh, how good does that look? So, just wanna carefully pick it up and flip it. There we go. And that can go back into the smoker. So we'll set a timer and give the fish another 20 minutes. How easy is this recipe? The fish is practically cooking itself. Okay, let's make some sauce to drizzle over this fish when it's done. So into a pan over a medium heat, we want to throw, and when I say throw, I mean place. Don't throw anything into a hot fry pan. Some oil and some butter. Once the butter has melted, we're gonna add some finely chopped onions, and we're gonna let them caramelize. Now we can add some chopped garlic and some chili flakes. After about a minute, you can add some lemon zest and some lemon juice. 
and now some chopped spring onion. And keep stirring this the entire time. Now to add some chopped parsley and some chives and finish it off with some salt and some pepper. Now the fish alone is fantastic, but adding this lemon and chili sauce over the top takes it to another level. The snapper is ready and we can get it out of the smoker now. How good does that look? Now to plate this up, we're gonna keep it quite rustic and just add the vegetables to a tray and then carefully place the whole fish on the tray as well. May as well get the last of those veggies. And now just drizzle the lemon chili sauce over the top. Oh, how good does that look? Yeah, I think we all know I'm gonna say it. This is seriously that good. It should be illegal. Cheers and thanks for watching.